Tortilla soup is delicious. It's easy to make and the best part, you can make it ahead of time, pull it out of the fridge and have a quick meal. Don't be intimidated because I'm using a dry chile. Let me introduce you to the guajillo. It's a wonderful ingredient. It's cheap, it lasts in your pantry forever, and it has so much flavor. All you need to do, remove the stem, open it up, remove the seeds. It's like nothing. Super simple. I'm gonna put the chilies here on an already hot comal or skillet. Toast them lightly over medium heat for 15 seconds. How easy is that? Super easy. You see how they're toasted and they're softer and you can see their color changed in there. This is such a gorgeous ingredient. The guajillo chile tastes happy to me. It's just like a bright flavor. How easy is this that I'm adding the chilies in there and I'm adding the whole tomatoes and you need just one pound. I think this will make it a pound for me. And then I'm adding one garlic clove. It goes in here, then I'm going to cover it with water, and then I'm going to bring it to a simmer, and then just gonna cook it for about 10 to 15 minutes. That's it, that's gonna be the base of my soup. And I'm gonna continue with the soup. I have the tomatoes and the chilies and the garlic that had been cooking here. And I'm gonna dump them in here just like that. That's how friendly these recipes. The chiles, they're plumped up. I'm adding the clove of garlic. And then I'm also adding one cup of that cooking liquid because it has so much flavor. And half a cup of chopped white onion and I'm gonna dump it in here then salt in here then while it purees I'm going to heat some oil in here so I added two tablespoons of oil in there so it's gonna cook and season for a few minutes before I add Chicken broth. Now, look at this. See how the color in the sauce in the pot is changing? That means it's concentrating the flavors. Time to add chicken broth. Six cups. Gonna give it a stir gonna add one or two sprigs of parsley if you want you could also use cilantro it's up to you so while this soup finishes let me tell you about the garnishes and why this soup is so fun to eat these are tortilla crisps or little tiny chips see how crunchy they are this is what makes the tortilla soup be a tortilla soup because you're adding a ton of these tortilla strips. And here I have chile crisps. Now, don't do this at home, but I love doing this. These are ancho chile crisps. Not very spicy, but they can pack a punch. They're perfect for being a garnish in the soup. You just want to add a little. And then I'm also using avocado. And I'm just gonna dice it in here. And then I have queso fresco and the Mexican cream and the soup is ready. Look how rich this broth looks. And then I'm gonna add some tortilla, not just some, but a ton of tortilla chips in here and the chile crisps. The cream, uh-huh, the cheese, mm-hmm, and the avocado. Just look. Look at one spoonful. So that's what's gonna go in your mouth. Makes you happy, no? It's good. 